boy did I ever screw up today as you can see I'm not in my ice cream truck I'm in my little eco shit box Prius <laughs> um, yeah I'm driving back from Charlotte I went to do one of those driver apps it's called dispatch it and um, maybe it's because I didn't leave the house till four o'clock or so uh, that might have been a large component of why I didn't get any deliveries today. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I'm assuming yeah, you should get there within business hours. Um, I didn't get up until 12, 12 today. I went out last night to a friend's house and did get home to like 2.30 in the morning. And, you know, taking a shower and all that kind of stuff. And So then... I was debating whether to go uh, out in the ice cream truck today or not because it's going to rain a little bit. By the time I would have got up to my little town that I work, I probably would have been okay. But it would have been mostly cloudy and I don't think the sales would have been good. So anyways, I, I decided to try this app. Um, well, I didn't think about, you know, the beach should be there during business hours. I almost thought it was like a food delivery app. Or a, a passenger delivery app. No. Um, so yeah, I failed horribly today. I should have gotten sold ice cream. Then again, I probably needed the day off. I really just needed the day off just to do nothing. I work entirely too much, too hard, and um, I need I need I need, I need some me time. But I, I got to get some money. Um, so I got like three hundred dollars towards my seven hundred dollar phone bill after all expenses and, and everything. Um, it's, it's, it's a little bit of crunch time. I got four more days until the phone bill is due, and I'm sure I get some grace time after that. I just really want to get caught up on my bills and um, reduce my bills to like $650 a month. But now I have this car that's another $80 a month in insurance. So my bill should be about $730, $730 a month. Um, after I pay my phone bill down, um, pay for these two devices, which I owe $1,700 on, and I owe the electric company $2,000. When I pay that, they'll stop digging me for an extra $500 every month. And uh, that'll make life a little bit easier for me, especially getting through this winter when I won't be able to sell ice cream. I don't necessarily want to go back to OTR. Um, I want to to talk to a trash truck company and you'd think that'd be the easiest job in the world to score no no it's not it's not um, I might back go back to the cab company with my hat in hand now that I got a, a car to get up there with I, I, I do I do okay I really do I do okay but we, we, sh we shall see um, I might just go talk to the man and I like to retain relationships anyways. I don't like I don't like screwing people over. I like leaving on bad terms. Now mind you, there's only so much time in the day and so much time in your life. You can't do everything, unfortunately. Um, but I do like to, to to leave on good terms. I like having a good reputation. Um If you noticed, um, my speedometer doesn't work on this car. Um, it's called a combo meter. I got a new one, or, or new to me, and um, I'm gonna have to replace that while it's taking all this dash apart, which is not as impossible like an American dash. An American car, you'd have to actually physically pull the whole 300 pound unit out of here, take the steering wheel off, all kinds of crazy shit. No. Um, so yeah, uh, I basically screwed up today. And then, I'm on Grubhub. I'm approved for Grubhub. In, in Asheville, not Charlotte. I don't see why you can't just g cut the app on and be able to deliver it wherever you're at. It just makes no sense that you have to work only in one specific market. You should be able to work wherever you want to. Cut the app on and start making money. I don't get it. That makes absolutely no sense at all. 
And if you're worried about having too many drivers in any one market because people will go from out of market, learn to compete. Learn to compete. It's business. They, they want to call you a business person or a business partner and then limit you. Well, then you're an employee. If they can limit you or, or, or affect your hours, you're, you're, you're not a business partner. You're not an entrepreneur. You are an employee. There goes another shit box just like mine. I, get, I paid $1,800 for this one. I might just start buying these up. As soon as I start making money again. Food truck is the key. Definitely taco truck, whatever. It might be general food truck. I might have a bunch of stuff on there. And leave it somewhere 24 hours a day. I have a crew's work at 24 hours a day. Um, yes, eat, cause, because truck stops don't stop rolling. And truckers get tired of truck stop food. I know I did. I was out there for seven years this last time. Seven years. I left my house and was gone for seven years, basically. Mind you, I did come back. I mean, it's not like I was gone constantly. But, um, I was gone most of the time. I really was. Really. 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 Well, the last three with my dad was with me were the best. But I do digress. I'm in my car. I did not make hundreds of dollars today. I probably could have done $400 a day. Being that I would have been primarily in a, in a good market. And uh, unlike yesterday where I started off in a bad market just to make some money. Some guaranteed money. And then I went to a good market. Um, I probably could have done $700 yesterday. But I wanted to have some money to guarantee that I can. Now that, that's not a bad thing. I wanted to make some money to make sure I made it back from that other city. Um, in case I used more fuel than I thought I, I would. That part's not bad. Sometimes it's really good to hedge your bets. Um, if you got, that's why they say scared money don't work. Uh, because when you're down on your luck and you ain't got a buck, and London Bridge is falling down, I moved to Arizona. Um, Jerry Jeff Walker. Um, no, uh, when you, what scared money doesn't work because when you that's your last dollar, you aren't as sure. As you are when you got a pocket full of money. It's just... It's a really weird dynamic. Um, because scared money isn't... Going to do the things... That somebody with a pocket money, pocket full of money can do. Or is more willing to do. Because then you don't have as much to lose. I do digress. There's your little buddy. And there's a... This was actually a lot better earlier. I wish I could put the picture on here. I'm going to go. Roll Tiger. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> and um, roll Butterfly. Roll roll, um, roll the house and eat some of this ceviche I got at Sam's Club. Y'all have a great night. And, uh, tomorrow's going to be another day. It'll be better for me. It'll be better for you. Just got to get up early and... You know the rest.